The red fox, vulpes vulpes, is its repetitive Latin taxonomy, but I'm probably saying it wrong. For this one, I went for a more angular, repetitive, triangle-based design. I really like triangles, especially equilateral. The isosceles and scalene triangles can take a hike. Just camp up there in the woods, boys, and when we need you, uh, we'll send off some uh, smoke signals or carrier pigeons or something. This, uh, this piece of poignant and pretty pyrography was a project that took approximately uh, three and a half hours. And I'll say, this this fox has a flattering face, formerly facets and a fine, formerly fuzzy forehead. Frankly, my fingers are fatigued, for I have frantically and feverishly been trying to form a foundation for future fortune. Fearless and fairly foolhardy, I find myself feeling festive for fortnights at a time. Uh, fixation on fleeing failure and finding facade-free flourishes. Burning blissful ability... ability, uh, I give up. That's too hard. Anyways, I'm not sure what I was saying. Oh, before all that, I was talking about how much I like triangles, and how the design on this fox skull is almost entirely made of triangles, all smudged up next to each other in lines and rows. What may appear to be zigzags are really just a bunch of triangles, even though I do love me some zigs and zags as well. They aren't mutually exclusive. We can have both. It's a good life. I've got nothing to complain about. It's also a beautiful day. The sun is shining. Little birds are hopping around in the grass looking for seeds or worms or something. I have no idea. I'm not an orthonologist. The trees are all dancing in perfect unison. The grand choreography of the wind creates a great performance for a greater stage. The crows keep a watchful distance from me, however. They're smarter than I'd like to give them credit for. Way down in the valley, stretching out before me, I I see uh, the occasional plume of smoke from someone burning up pile of brush in their backyard. The land goes out before me, mottled with trees and spots of bare grass, like a vast Dalmatian hide. Mountains rise up and create a serrated horizon in numbered rows, like a shark's teeth that have been worn down over countless years and covered with vegetation and rocks. I turn away from the view and feel small, but fortunate. An odd sense of being both refreshingly significant and painfully insignificant puts me in a happy funk, and I'm ready to create. Determined to fight the meaninglessness, and driven by a sense of responsibility at the same time, I start drawing. And I love it. So it's what I do. And I think I'll keep doing it. And I appreciate you guys watching. All the comments and stuff are very encouraging. I mean, I'm just a guy that likes to draw. And look how good I have it. Way too good. So, I have to make the best of it. Keep doing what I do. You know how it is. Thanks. Bye.